Welcome to Danila Dilba Health Service. We were set up in 1991 and started in an old house in Darwin CBD with just a handful of staff. And today, we have around 140 staff and service the Greater Darwin region with several medical clinics, a dental clinic, a mobile clinic and a transport service. I've been coming here since the service opened. We started off with one doctor and then the clientele started to build up and it's been an, an absolute asset, I think. And that's been really good for our mob. It's actually great to have an adult health check once a year. Come in, you have an hour appointment, they do your screening, do your bloods. It's just to find out anything that may be an issue. That's why this place works so well, because they've got that holistic care. We also have a community programs division focused on prevention and early intervention in areas like tobacco, alcohol and other drugs, social and emotional well-being. Our large Indigenous staff and our Aboriginal Health Practitioner First policy where clients see an Aboriginal clinician before a GP help to ensure culturally appropriate care. The Aboriginal Health Worker First part policy is an essential part of Daniel Nadilba. Daniel Nadilba would function but not as well as it does if it didn't have without that policy. Indeed, I like to think I'm an experienced doctor, I like to think I'm an experienced doctor in Indigenous health, but Aboriginal health workers bring a background and an expertise to all my interactions with my patients that I just wouldn't have without them. We are getting men to come in, we are getting men to access this clinic to help themselves and um, the guys love it, they come in, they feel at home, there's no pressure on them. You know, we might see a bloke give up cannabis that he's been smoking heavily for 30 years. He gives it up and he stays off it. And that's just over time a relationship with us that he's built up and he's been able to fight that, be de-stressed in other ways and, and, and lose that addiction. But also just the everyday mundane stuff about getting diabetes better controlled. You know, when it happens, when a bloke drops his, his three month sugar average from 10% to 6%, you can't wipe the smile off David's face, you can't wipe the smile off my face. The patient is so proud of himself as well. We're committed to quality and good governance with accredited clinics in Quality Improvement Council accreditation. We want to see a society in which the health and well-being and quality of life of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people is equal to that of non-Indigenous Australians. Danila Dilba, keeping well, getting stronger.